Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is another sad video because our poor baby journey has another injury. The vet is already on her way. Well, I guess I'll show you guys. So it was feeding time and when I came to feed Crystal and Journey, I noticed he has a cut on his eyelid. Thank God it's just his eyelid. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm sorry if this is too gruesome, but he completely slit his eyelid. Luckily, it's just his eyelid, but it does need stitches because otherwise he'll always have problems with that extra skin rubbing on his eye. And plus, I looked at it and it doesn't seem like his eyeball was affected at all, but obviously I didn't really move and lift the eyelid. So I'm hoping that his eyeball is fine and there's not like a cut on his eyeball or anything like that. He's doing fine. I mean, he's eating. Obviously, he's probably in a, a bit of pain. I decided to call the vet. They're gonna come over. They say he needs stitches. I text with pictures. Sorry guys, my memory card is full, so I'm using my phone right now. Anyway, all I'm doing right now is just waiting for the vet to get here. Crystal and Journey are just finishing up their hay. I'm kind of nervous because it's a Sunday and it's after hours, so I'm kind of scared to see the bill. <laughs> but obviously his health and safety comes first, so I'm hoping that it's just gonna be a quick stitch and that he's gonna be fine because my poor baby. Thank God it wasn't his eyeball, you guys. I'm saying that now, but like I don't know. It doesn't look like his eyeball was affected at all, but maybe when the vet lifts his lid up there might be something underneath but we'll see not good news not a good video today but everything's gonna be fine you have to stay positive hi my booger oh my goodness my poor baby how are you feeling poor thing at least he's still eating and stuff it's a good sign it's right on his lash line so i really hope that they stitch it up and they don't end up cutting it off because eyelashes are so important to protect their eyeball <sighs> my little munchkin poor thing a few moments later all right you guys so the vet is here i'm gonna go ahead and grab journey can't do this with the camera on <laughs> one sec you need me to hold him a certain way or... and just like that is perfect i'm gonna just basically numb his eye so i'm gonna give him a needle right there's a nerve that runs right here and one up here okay so he might jump but that's totally normal i oh, know no. oh, maybe not to be enough don't be like this all right, it's really mean. I don't know whether you want this on video, but I'm gonna get you this hand to grab his Oh ear. no, it's okay, yeah. Okay, <laughs> it's the reality. This yep. is what we gotta do. It's and for his own good. Yep. Good boy. Okay, one, two, three. Uh-oh, you're gonna be fine. You're not gonna feel it soon. You're so cute. You're so cute. Good boy. Good boy. I know. Okay. Oh, I know. Okay, Bubba. Oh, buddy. Okay. okay Maybe we need some more. Yeah. yeah. You're not sleepy enough. <laughs> so the eye drops that I'm going to give you are going to help with the itchiness, but I'm sure he did this because of flies in the first place. Mm, yeah. Or, yeah, because um, the flies have been pretty bad. Yeah. How are you still being like this? <laughs> You're supposed to be sleepy. You are sleepy. Stop it. No, no, no. No, no. Okay. You are being crazy. Yes. One, two, three. Oh, she doesn't feel that, does he? Okay. I think so. Is that better for you, baby? Oh. Stop. I'm sweating so much. I know. Don't worry. <laughs> So basically I'm putting in a figure eight pattern so that oh. I only have to tie these knots once. But he's so small and his eyes so small. So edit this so it looks like you know he's perfect, right? <laughs> You're a good boy. Oh. It's right around his eye. You can't be moving. Oh. Alright, I might need to get some more lidocaine or something. He is being crazy. He could be done by now. Of course he would definitely be done. Oh, come on. Hey. Perfect. That's what we need right now. <laughs> oh, look, he doesn't care about that. He cares more about me. We see these eyelid lacerations. I don't know, I probably do like two a week. Really? Yeah, oh in my Florida. Gosh. And because of the flies during the summer. Yeah. In the winter, I don't see any. try to put one more just to make it like perfectly flat okay so it's gonna be two more pokes but my goodness you shouldn't be able to feel it okay let me just get a better grip okay okay there you go are you good yeah okay 
All right, so that's my test, and he's not feeling this one, so hopefully this goes better now. He's just moving. Stop, baby. Make sure it's a perfect one. There we go. I'm already through one. It's good, baby. So these are dissolvable. We never have to take them out. Oh, yay. They'll last about 10 days. Oh, oh my baby. So close. We're almost done. We Probably. really are. You can advocate because she can't see. <laughs> just this little flap, you know, right there, and yeah. then it will be done. Ugh. Still, it's gotta be the perfect one. What's through? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna tie some knots. Okay, we're gonna be done. You're a tough boy. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Like I out. can't wait to look back at this <laughs> video. I feel like I'm missing out. Well, it's a lot of me thinking, where should I put the needle? Okay. And his eyelashes will, I have them up just because they're tied in the knots because they're long. Yeah. But like, see these right here? They're facing upwards. Yeah. But when it heals and the It'll stitches come, come out and dissolve, yeah, it, they'll go back to normal. They'll go down. Baby, we're not cutting. Not doing anything. Don't need to get upset. So there's no uh, purple. This is the suture's purple. There's no purple underneath the eyelid. You can see so that it shouldn't scratch the eyeball. So I only did it on the first two layers of skin. Cool. And like I said, these eyelashes will go down like normal. Okay? Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you so much. You'll just try your best to get it in there. It's an ointment. Okay. Um, and it can live outside the box and everything. If it uh, gets hot, it gets like more runny. So you don't have to like squeeze those hard. Okay. Here, can you get it? You can probably let go of them. Thanks. You're so cool about me. <laughs> Oh, you're okay. There you go. Perfect. Sometimes they'll let you go kind of in that corner there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes with little babies, you can come behind, take their ear, and just get it in the back corner here. Okay. All right, you guys, I am sweating so much, but Journey got his eye done. It's looking good. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'll give you a better shot of it tomorrow. We're both sweating. He's like sweating all over me, but it's all good. Eventually. This is what he's looking like now. He's still a little loopy, still sleepy. His eye looks so much better, you guys. Like this is the final result. It's kind of hard to see at night. I am currently sitting on the ground in the barn just because Journey is not supposed to eat until he's come out from the sleepiness. As you guys know, we gave him some like sleepy drugs. So since I already threw hay in the stall, I'm kind of just sitting here with him, watching him so that he doesn't eat until he wakes up because he's kind of still a little droopy. So I'm just sitting here watching YouTube videos on my phone. I completely forgot that when horses are under sedation, it's kind of dangerous for them to eat. They kind of choke and stuff. So I'm waiting for him to wake up. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are done. I am drenched in sweat. That was kind of a workout for me. <laughs> but thankfully, Journey is doing good. She like sutured it perfectly, you guys. Like I was so shocked. It looks amazing. Like what an amazing stitch job she did. But anyway, now I just have to make sure that he doesn't rub it. Because one thing she said that's really sensitive with like eye sutures is that you can't do it again. Like once you suture it once, if it gets ruined, it's kind of hard to redo it. You'll have to do a whole surgery or whatever because of the tissue that builds up. I don't know, something like that. But anyway, now I have to make sure he doesn't rub it tonight. And then tomorrow I have to find some kind of fly mask that has a cup to protect his eye. And then I have some ointment she gave me to apply it on his eye three times a day. Um, what the pee? Hey, come on. Come on. Come on. Out, 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 out. The craziness I have to deal with. <laughs> Yeah, thankfully it's, it's all good. His actual eyeball looks good. Oh my gosh, you guys, like, I'm so happy about that. You have no idea. Um, now, oh gosh, I just hear stuff and I get nervous. Don't hurt your eye. So I decided to put them both in this smaller stall. It's so dark, you guys probably can't see, but um, there's fans above those stalls, so that will keep the flies off and it'll be less likely for him to rub his face or his eye and like ruin the stitches. And they dissolve on their own. So that's the deal. He's looking good. It's gonna, they're gonna stay in there tonight. But yeah, I think this is it for this video, is it? And tomorrow, all I have to do is go get that mask and we're all done. So yeah, <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know, I hope you learned something. I feel like that's kind of what I go for with my videos. I don't know, even I learned stuff. So I hope that it was interesting and you guys learned something. Thank God it has a good ending because it would have been terrible if, you know, he would have injured his eye a lot more. So yeah. Okay, I will see you guys in my next video or I might just add a little clip tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you're happy that Journey is okay. Um, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And here is my notification shout out and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Good morning. Can I see that eyeball of yours? Pretty boy. Hi. Are you mad at me because of last night? I had to do it. I 
had to do it. Can we see? Hi there, Munchkin. Can you see that eyeball? We gotta put medicine on it today. 